Welcome back to another edition of the FairStateBulldogs.com Men's Ice Hockey Series Preview for this week's matchup between your Bulldog Hockey Squad and the first place and 10th ranked University of Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Last week in the Bulldogs took a sweep over the Alabama Huntsville Chargers and currently on a five-game winning streak, back-to-back -back sweeps as well. And that takes us into last week and on Friday night as the Bulldogs were victorious. Yeah, you mentioned it, Dom. Five-game win streak now on Friday night, seeing the Bulldogs extend their win streak to four games, defeating the Alabama Huntsville Chargers by a final of 5-2. to two. Pat Nagel wound up that game with 18 saves on the night, scoring for the Bulldogs. Two goals was Travis Olette, picking up his fourth and fifth of the year. Also at chipping in for the Bulldogs, Todd Pocock, senior forward, picking up his second tally of the year. Matthew Kersinger as well, picking up his sixth of the year and rounding out the scoring senior defenseman Scott Witeka on the power play. Good game for the Bulldogs on Friday night. Seen them really dominate Alabama Huntsville. Kind of a revenge game earlier in the year. We seen them drop one to Alabama Huntsville, so it was big. See the Bulldogs get it going again. Well, we talked about it in the first two games of the year. Ferris State did split with his UAH Chargers squad. People speculated, are the Bulldogs not going to have a year that they should have? Not the case. First two games of the year, it was too early to tell what's going on. We come towards the end of the year where the Bulldogs should be at their peak of their performance, and you could tell with the five goals in both games, ten goals over the weekend, that the Bulldogs, obviously the better team in that series. And from there, that leads us into the Saturday night game. Yeah, Saturday night's game, seeing the Bulldogs, like you mentioned, score an identical five-goal spot. Scoring for the Bulldogs in that game, they tra actually trailed one nothing as Tom Durney put Alabama Huntsville on the board first, going into that first intermission. But a strong second period to see the Bulldogs get goals by Mike Fillinger, Aaron Schmidt, a shorthanded, beautiful goal from Mike Embach. And in the third period, they just kept rolling as Jordy Johnson added a goal. Mike Embach picked up his second of the game. So it was a really good, like you mentioned, scoring outburst for the Bulldogs. Pat Nago was pretty solid in between the pipes as well, recording 23 saves and a winning effort Saturday night to extend the Bulldogs' winning streak to the five games. Senior defenseman Scott Witeka from Wolverine Lake, Michigan, also known as Novi, Michigan, closer to Novi. He had three points on the week and a goal and two assists. One assist on Friday, one goal and an assist on Saturday. That led him to be CCHA Defenseman of the Week. Yeah, Scott Witeka really had a solid weekend, especially that goal he scored. You can see on the power play, the rotation with him and Zach Redmond, Witeka being a left-handed shot, playing the right wing, the right side. Him and Redmond rotated this way, putting Witeka on the left side with this heavy shot. Redmond with a nice dish to him. Witeka on his off wing opened up. Beautiful one-timer in the back of the net. Boy, does he have a cannon. It's one of the hardest shots in the league, that's for sure. And when he gets that on net, I feel bad for the goaltenders trying to block that shot or even the defenseman in front of the net or forwards trying to block his shot. Nonetheless, though, great offensive weekend from Scott Witeka, the defenseman for Ferris State. That leads us into the Notre Dame series coming up this weekend, the last home series for Ferris State for the regular season, unless the Bulldogs host in playoffs in that first or second round. The Bulldogs last year takes us back to January 9th and 10th, swept the Notre Dame Fighting Irish on the road in South Bend, Indiana. The first game they won 5-2 to two on that January 9th contest. Waitaka had a goal and an assist in that first game as well. The Saturday night game, they won 4-2 to two to walk away at the series sweep over the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Boy, oh boy, would a series sweep be big this oh, weekend. Man. Especially with Notre Dame being... Right now, first in the CCHA with 50 points. They're playing some good hockey. When you look up and down their roster, they got 10 NHL draft picks. Anders Lee, Brian Russ, Riley Sheehan, just to name a few guys. They've really got some guys who can play on that team. If you look, they actually have two freshmen leading their team in points. you got Anders Lee, a New York Islanders draft pick. He's got 37 points, 19 goals, 18 assists. And leading the way, C.J. Tinnen with 32 games played, 19 goals, 24 assists, 43 points. Only a freshman. Imagine these players when they become sophomores, juniors, and even seniors. They're gonna, they're a dangerous squad. Notre Dame might have had a down year last year, but that's definitely not the case this year. As you talked about, Dan, them being first place in the CCHA. How about in the national rankings? The Fighting Irish are ranked 10th overall in the nation as the Bulldogs crack the top 20 as well being ranked 20th, so the Bulldogs nationally ranked. This will be a battle of two nationally ranked squads this week. You look at the pairwise as well. Notre Dame 12th in the pairwise. The Bulldogs 19th in the pairwise. Don't forget that top 16 teams or top 15 make it to the NCAA tournament, but then of course
course, the seeds go lower and lower once uh, the conference tournament champions also get that automatic bid as well. So Ferris State fighting for an NCAA tournament bid this season. We'll take a look at the conference standings. We talked about the Fighting Irish being first place inside the CCHA. The Bulldogs fifth place right now in the CCHA. Of course, it's 11 teams. In that top five, we'll go with Notre Dame there with 50 points in 24 games. Michigan has 49 points in 24 games. The Miami Redhawks, 49 points in 26 games. With the Western Michigan Broncos, 41 points in 24 games. And Ferris State, 38 points in 24 games. And there's our top five. So a battle between first and fifth place this weekend and a battle between 20th ranked and 10th ranked in the, inside the nation. Yeah, it's going to be a heck of a series, which is absolutely huge, is that the Bulldogs have home ice. And you and I both know home ice is absolutely colossal in the sport of hockey. You get that home crowd behind you, you get the dog pound rocking. It really gets in the opposition's head, especially when they're getting loud, getting on the goalie, banging on the glass and whatnot. I'm just kidding, who Ferris has always been pretty successful on home ice. We'll check out the Wall Street Journal Journal article this week. They did one talking about uh, hockey, college hockey arenas being the cathedrals of sports and the atmospheres and how great it is inside college hockey rinks. I actually got to talk to them and kind of inform them about Ferris State and give them our dog pound and whatnot. But you always hear about players talking about that they hate to come to Big Rapids and Ferris Stakes. Our student section and our dog pound is so, so uh, treacherous on the opposing team. Wrapping things up here, the Bulldogs will host this weekend the last home regular season series of the year. Friday night and Saturday night versus the University of Notre Dame Fighting Irish, February 18th and 19th at 7.05 p.m. You could catch, if you can't miss the games this week, you could catch all of the action live on the radio with Dan and I on the call on 1460 AM or 107.7 FM WBRN. And, of course, all of this online at FerrisStateBulldogs.com.